Have you ever thought it'd be nice to have a, a deadbolt that closes your shed door rather than a padlock that, that is exposed to the weather? This is how I made my shed door. And basically the thing is, um, <clears throat> all revolves around this two by six. And that two by six is um, mounted with a number of um, screws. And you've got uh, two by four frame and the 2x4 frame is uh, supporting the 2x6. Uh, There's three hinges on here, through bolts, go through the 5 uh, 8 inch material, and as I tighten them up, it just drew the uh, nuts right into the wood. Okay, so there's three hinges of pretty good size, and each hinge has uh, four lag bolts that hold it on, uh, and the lag bolts are quite long. I need to go through the trim board, through the sheathing, and into that uh, stud quite a distance. Uh, on this other side, you'll see where one of the leg bolts uh, busted. What I normally do is um, dip the leg bolts in uh, linseed oil just before I uh, crank on them with a wrench. I may have uh, skipped that uh, step and busted one. Basically, I cut a hole in the trim board to accommodate that thing sticking through the uh, stud. And uh, underneath that is a layer of the sheathing there that I had to make a uh, slightly larger hole so the whole thing would fit through there. So I added uh, some caulk and uh, added a little weep hole so that uh, moisture could get out if it was ever going to build up in there. The way this works is this is a uh, awning rail. It's a piece of aluminum. Inside of it is a vinyl extrusion that you can sew to. And then I sewed this piece of uh, boat topping to that. Just added a couple of uh, snaps. So any water that runs that, that door is not gonna get in there. So I've got the, uh, I've got the awning rail caulked on there. So uh, I'm gonna have to prove that this thing works. So I'm gonna unlock it, open the door, and then close the door and relock it.